Hi guys, I am Trisha with Insectopia and the Philadelphia Insectarium and Butterfly Pavilion here to talk to you about insect wings and their modifications. Shout out to Uma Lakshmi who suggested this video. Drop a comment and your suggestion could be next. Let's start with some introductory facts about insect wings. One. Only adult insects have wings. If you see an insect and it has wings, it is likely an adult and will not be growing anymore. 2. If an insect has wings, it is likely to have four. There are only two types of insects out there that have only two wings. Flies, which everyone has heard of, and Strepsiptera, which pretty much no one knows about. But you could. Drop a comment if you are interested in that video. 3. Insects have pairs of front wings and hind wings. Both front wings will be the same and both of the hind wings will be the same, but sometimes the front and hind wings are different from each other. 4. There are four common wing types in insects. Membranous, Tegmina, Elytra, and Hemielytra. Membranous wings are generally clear and you can see the wing venation. This is the most common wing type. You can think of the wings of a wasp or fly. Tegmina are leathery front wings. These wings are opaque and generally green or brown. Their job is to protect a pair of membranous wings underneath them. You can think of grasshoppers, praying mantids, or cockroaches. Elytra are the hard forewings of beetles. These hard coverings protect both the body and the membranous wings underneath. Beetles can open their elytra and then fly with the membranous wings hidden. As you may have guessed by the name, hemielytra are half elytra and half membranous wings. These wings are common in true bugs. If you can think of an insect's name that has the word bug in it as a separate word, that is likely a true bug. You can think of assassin bugs, seed bugs, and stink bugs. Insects are always adapting and making changes for the better. We are going to talk about a few examples of insects that have made modifications to their wing type. Let's look at butterflies, for instance. They have membranous wings, but most butterflies do not fly around with clear wings. That is because their wings are covered in scales. There is some groundbreaking science about the thermodynamics of butterfly wings. If you are interested in this video, drop a comment below. Bees have membranous wings, but they also have hamuli, which are little hooks that connect the front wing to the hind wing for stronger flight. Flies, although they only have one pair of wings, get something completely different in the spot of the hind wings. This is what is called a halter. It is a flight stabilization organ that gives the fly the ability to zip and zoom around the room. All of these are examples of insect wings with a modification to make the wings more suitable for the insect's environment. Let's check out some pictures. On the left, you can see a membranous wing. On the right, you can see a tegmina. On the left, you can see elytra and on the right are hemielytra. On the left is a blue morpho butterfly, and on the right is a close-up image of butterfly scales. On the left is a close-up picture of the hamuli of a wasp, and on the right is the halter of a crane fly. Thank you for listening. Our buggy question is, if you had wings, what type of wing would you have? Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Come back soon to check out our next epic insect tale.